Do you weigh yourself for health purposes or vanity? Most of us weigh in for the vanity effect, but there are important reasons why monitoring your weight links to your health. Now, before you turn me off and call me fat phobic, there are some serious reasons why doctors should care about how much body fat you have. Too much fat is a sign of too much insulin, and that can cause havoc with your body. So skip the doctor and learn these three signs of insulin resistance. Number one is your weight. In a study where scientists tracked over 190,000 adults for 10 years, they studied folks who were officially obese. That obese label, or a BMI over 30, increased the risk of heart attack, stroke, and heart failure. But if they made it into a severely obese, which is a BMI of 35, it nearly tripled the risk of those. How much you weigh isn't everything, but we do rely on that number to predict how much body fat you're carrying. And that body fat, especially where it exists, is highly influential to your health. Think of body fat as an endocrine organ of sorts. It is constantly producing and releasing hormones that involve sexual function, blood clotting, blood pressure, insulin resistance, and many more. So we can debate whether or not being overweight is a serious health issue, but there is no debate for when that patient becomes obese, especially circulating these endocrine type hormones that cause the problems in aging. The second number is BMI and that's body mass index. This number also gets a lot of debate around it on whether or not it's a great metric for judging health. And I'm here to say it still has incredible value. This scale plots height and weight in combination, and we use that metric to decide if you're underweight, regular weight, overweight, obese, or severely obese. Use an online calculator to figure out what your BMI is and know that between 18 and a half and 25 is where the healthy zone is. But if you rise up to 30, that is obese. And that carries a significant risk of cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, and the list of problems that will end up in my internal medicine clinic as you age. BMI does have its limitations. It cannot tell you where the body fat lies in their body, and that really matters most. Visceral fat is the fat we're trying to look for. It is a different kind of fat. It is a more endocrine charged, hormone driven fat, and it is the source to many of these metabolic issues. If you have too much visceral fat, you can expect to find more fat winding around the liver, the heart, and other vital organs, along with this charge of hormones. The more visceral fat you've got, the higher your risk for heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Let's move on to the final and best indicator on this list for figuring out if your body weight is causing you danger. That indicator is called the waist to height ratio. Unlike body mass index, which compares your weight to your height. This takes your waist to circumference and compares it to your height and is the best way to measure whether that fat around your middle, the visceral fat, is high. Anything over a 0.53 is a really high indicator that you've got the bad stuff tucked inside that waistline. Remember, that visceral fat is not just fat. It is not benign. It's alive and causing the problems that we're trying to prevent. So these are three cheap ways to measure insulin, but I measure mine with a little bit more money. I spend the money on a DEXA scan, and this is what I prescribe for my patients. This scan takes a look at what's your bone density, what's your water density, and what's your muscle mass. From there, it calculates not just your body fat, but specifically takes a look at that visceral fat and I do mine every year. Have you listened to all these numbers and a bit freaked out because yours isn't so good? Don't worry, there is control in knowing the number and knowing how to reverse it. And if you need a little lesson, check out the next video. I'll teach you how to take that weight off forever.